Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to a brand new video. There's a big smile on my face because today we are playing Super Seducer. We are going to learn how to pick up women from this expert. It's probably, it's probably a game advice thing with real people and real, but no, no, no pixel art here, boys. This is the real deal. We're going to learn how to become Lotharios, right? All you virgins out there. You're going to get boobs. Probably man boobs. I mean, you, you might get laid. Here we go. We're going to learn. We're going to become experts, my friends. Unfortunately, the first thing I've noticed is that there's only one master volume setting. And the music is really loud. But the voice is really quiet. So I'm turning it down. But I have to turn it up to get into the game. So it's funky. Right, we're done. Confirming, I hit enter. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Right, so it will get quieter in a minute, all right? <laughs> I'm hoping. <clears throat> okay. Let's do it, let's do it. Gonna get a date. <clears throat> Hello, Cheeky. So bad. It's gonna be so bad. Shit. Okay, what do we do? Hot woman, random in the street. Do we approach directly in the front? Pretend to be blind. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Straight away. That's, yeah, that was that's my first thought. Pretend to be blind. Uh, wolf whistle. I'm gonna say no to that one. Approach slightly in front and to the side. You can't. But she's walking across you, so to walk in front of her, you'd have to run ahead and then turn back on her. Okay. Walking next to her, or yo, what up, girl, walking with her. Right. I'm going to go, because approaching from the front, I'm going to say, is is, is going to be too confrontational. And also, it would look weird, because we're already coming from the side. I kind of wanted to pretend to be blind. How are we going to play this, boys? Are we going to go with a stupid answer or what we actually think we should do? Well, let's try blind for... <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Okay, we're going to pretend to be blind. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Um, very funny, but, you know, in most cases, she's just going to brush you off. Apparently, you're not walking like a blind person. You're walking like a zombie. Okay. But I think approaching slightly in front and to the side is the way to go. That's Excuse straight. Me. Just That's, want to ask you something. That was straight busy. in front. That failed because you gave you made it too easy for her to just walk past you and brush you off too close to the side. It means that she will likely do that as a reflex like 90% of the time. But surely that's a good thing. We're not trying to corner a caged animal here. We're trying to get a date. We don't want to just go, Ugh! like, you're going to date me. You can't get past. You can't get past. Okay, I guess we'll look going directly in front then. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, what? you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. <laughs> so don't jump out of a bush is what you're saying there guys don't jump out of a bush you go, ah, date me slowly so it's not she's not in a car but apparently it's enough room so she can stop okay what are we saying what are we saying i just saw you and wanted to let you know you look very elegant okay hey don't i know you from one of my yoga classes okay i can yeah didn't we both go to the same college hey do you have a minute i think you're really beautiful i'd love to go on down on you right now. I th I'm going to say no to D. I'm going to say no to D. I think saying you'd love to go down on her. I'm look. I like the yoga class. I'm going for the yoga class. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I've seen you in my yoga class. Do you go there? No, I don't do yoga. You don't? No. Not at all. We He's the worst try. actor. Not the best way to start because she can just say no and brush you off. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about it. I didn't think it through. So that's surely the same college would also... Oh no, because she... Yeah, but she might not have gone to college. Hey, hey, do you have a minute? That's a normal... 
if you're trying to get somebody to stop, say, do you have a minute? We'll go with that. So I just saw you and I'd love to get to know you. So do you have a minute? No, actually. No, not even. Why Fox. not? Why not? Why did you ask that? Gives her the opportunity to say no. Yeah, because I'm polite. Do you have time? Do you want to talk to me? More than likely, if it's in the beginning of the interaction, she's going to say no. Why do you... What? I'm not... We're not trying to do anything illegal here, boys. We're just... Hey, do you have a minute? Is a polite way. Giving her an option to say no is fine. Okay? Okay, we're going in... For... I'm, I'm having a shocker here. I'm trying to go for the right answers. That's how we're going to play this. I'm trying to go for the right answers. Unless there's a crazy silly one. Okay, we're going to go straight in for the compliment. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well. It's really summery. Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment. It's direct. It's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice, confident way to start in the street. I always find so nose rings for today? elegant. I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. Squirrels? Feed them, like, it's not fucking dogs. aliens. <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? It seems to be. It's taking That's an nice. interest. So they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yes. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? I'm going to, I'm going to go feed the squirrels, aren't I? No, she's asked me a question. What are you going to do? You go, I'm going to go feed the squirrels with you. Okay, I'm not going to lean in for a fucking kiss, right? B is no. Ask her questions to get her to do most of the talking. Well, everybody's told to let the, the lady talk, right? And not talk too much. So I'm, it's got to be A, isn't it? But surely my, my reply, because we've hit a bit of a repertoire, you know, she's, 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 she's interested, right, in, in my amazing acting. So I'm going to assume... That I just go, well, if you don't mind, I'd like to go for a walk with you with your friend. Because then it's not, not, you know, it's not too over the top. It's just going, look, with your friend. Like, it's not, you know, I'm going to take you in the bushes. It's, let's go with your friend and I'll feed the squirrels with you. Apparently, no. Do you live local around here somewhere? Yeah. Finding That's out where nice. she lives. And Good. you spend a lot of Stalking. time in this area. Um, I do, yeah. There's a nice coffee shop just down there. Have you been there? I have, um, but I'm going to meet a friend, actually, so I need to go. Okay, what's her name? Is it a he or a she, actually? <laughs> In the beginning, the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch of questions. You want to make statements and do most of the talking yourself. I'm doing it all wrong, boys. Well, I think you've given away the answer there. I'm going to do most of the talking. Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes. And that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly. So that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. <laughs> In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, okay. uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire Smash some bikes boys. and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, all that. but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on okay. and sitting really yeah. <laughs> nice. funny. I'll, I will change. I will okay. change yeah. what, are we, what are we talking about? We've made a penny farthing joke. Let me just check my watch. Is it the 1800s? Fucking topical, that was. Right, okay, so... I've just told her we're going, I'm going to rent some bikes with a friend, didn't I? She's going out with a friend. Right? Use checking out her earrings as an excuse to touch her. Physical contact's good, but I think that's too early. Find an excuse to take off your shirt. To, that's what I do. I just flop me cock out. Um, I find that works. Ask what hairstyle she thinks would be good for you. Okay, that's quite cool. Start touching yourself to get turned on. I kind of want to do that to see what he does because he is like the greatest actor known to man. I'm doing it. I like squirrels. Yeah. Yeah, and I like nuts. I like uh, <laughs> cashews. Oh my god! What? What? Oh, fucking pervert! You like nuts? You said. 
If you like touching yourself, great, but make sure you do it in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> you know, nobody is clicking that option as a thinking it's right, mate. You can go with the joke. It's not, nobody's clicking that seriously. Okay, I'm going to go for the hairstyle thing. Get your hair cut, Yeah, mate. speaking of squirrels, you like can help me with this. Okay. Uh, I was thinking of getting my hair cut. What do you think? Do you prefer long or short hair? Um, I kind of like the long hair. Yeah? Have you ever put it back? Well, like in a ponytail? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I tried that. Does it maybe try it more? Could do, yeah. You think it looks it's still like masculine? It's all right? I kind of like it. Okay, nice one. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Not the best option. And psychologically, <gasps> it's important to remember that Asking for advice weakness? on dumb stuff as if you don't know what you're doing is not such a good thing to do in the early stages with a girl. Showing weakness. I'm sorry. So he, his segue was, yeah, so you like squirrels. What should I do with my haircut? I missed something. Okay, we did all right, though. We got through it. Now, do we ask if she's single? I should probably introduce myself before I ask if they're single. Look up her skirt. Ask her name, then say it's your name too. My name's Joanne. Oh, mine too. I'm going to get, I'm, we're playing it. I'm going to go with introduce yourself. Surely that has Richard, to be right. Hey, nice to meet you. Right. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> it's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. Thanks. Oh my God, this is so cringy. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. Yeah, what I can actually agree with What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. You're feeding working, squirrels, love. I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Feeding the squirrels. Yeah, um, yeah I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Um, okay. Yeah, I just try to be outdoors. Do you want to be like the people that's Come always the bike. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato. Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I do some active stuff, but actually, I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they're like, come to this. And I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Are we. <laughs> I'm confused. Are we trying to chat this woman up? So she says she's really active, she likes getting outside a lot, and you've just said. Yeah, I prefer to just stay at home or get somebody else to just, you know, do everything and I'll turn up. But other than that, I like to stay at home. She's not going to then go, oh, we're compatible, are we? Okay. Sell her on one of your hobbies. Do you like World of Warcraft? <laughs> Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you later. What's your number? I love how casual look. I hate girls that always try to look their, <laughs> look their best. I hate <laughs> implying that she doesn't. Okay, not going to do that one, boys. I think we should get out. I don't think we should push too early. Right? So, I don't think we should sit here chatting for 20 minutes, right? I reckon get in, get out, get the number, get a chat on a little texties, you know. We're going for it. Okay, listen, like I said, I'm meeting those friends, but mm -hmm. why don't you give me your number and we can um, keep in touch, maybe yeah, meet sometime. sure, sure. Oh, fucking dating god. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Have fun. You too, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you got a fake number. Oh. Mm, not good enough. How do you know? How do you know I got a fake number? How could you possibly know that? <sighs> okay, well that's gonna be the same thing, surely. We're gonna get given a fake number, because he knows he's magic. Just because you've got a beard and long hair doesn't make you a magician. Right, sell her on your hobbies then. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls. <laughs> I've heard yeah, of she it. knows what climbing um, is. You don't have to explain. Yet. The you know, it's very climbing. cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, <laughs> but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So, you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. Now we ask her. When you're speaking yes. to girls, it's good to be passionate about something, and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can? Go out and sell someone on it. Make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do I'd that. I'd like that to masturbate. Great. So it's, it's the right the option in this case. Okay, so oh, you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Flashing. Um, racket sports. Hanging outside play playgrounds. Tennis. Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. 
I don't know. I about mean, most right sports now. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's um, it's like when really? you're you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back, and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and yeah, yeah. It sounds it's very cool. Kind of cool. dangerous, but fun. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. <laughs> you and can smash each other with with the rackets, but. <laughs> rarely happens. Mm -hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Say you're an ass model, then try to touch her ass. I'm going to say no there. I've learned, you know, I'm learning. Programmer, and that's really boring, and you don't like it much. They should be passionate about what you do, surely. Say that you're a model scout. No. Yeah, programmer and be passionate about it. Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that uh, I'm you know, people think I'm IT is boring, one, boys. at the moment it's like the most exciting field, right? To work in, there's so many cool companies. I really love my job. So happy to, <laughs> to go to work every day. And um, yeah, it's fascinating for me. That's great. <laughs> if you have a job okay. and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If it's, if you do like your job, that woman's even if you think other people are not interested, speak passionately up. about it, and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about even if they're boring. stupid Worry about woman. how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So yeah. do you always stop girls in the street? Um... We can't say yeah quite often, right? Because that just means we're desperate. We can't say no, of course not, never, because that's an obvious lie if we're doing this. Only if they look like they're dying to be fucked. I'm going to say no to that. So too, not too often, but when I like the look of someone and I'm single, why not? Let's be honest with it. Yeah, be honest with it. Because I'm a creasy, uh, creepy ass motherfucker. That's why I do it. No, not often at all. But I think when I'm single... When mm. I like the look of someone, I figure, why not start a conversation? Because you never know what will happen. Smash yeah. To or become smash friends, two in a row. date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because uh, actually it's honest it. and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you, and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some Why rubbish. are these two women so the right here? Choice. Well done. Thanks. Oh, oh. It's the big one, boys. Listen, I have a few minutes. Why don't we grab a coffee? Well, she's literally just told us she's going to she's going to feed nuts to the squirrels, right, with her mate. Listen, I need to meet some friends, which is what we already said, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? Is that just not going to be the fake number thing again? You know, I live near here and have an apartment. All to no, we're not saying that. Give her your number. But then she, he'll just say, oh, she would never ring you. I'm going to go with this. That's what I do. If he says about the fake number shit again, then screw him. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find a time to meet. Sure, that'd be great. Is it going to be fake number? You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and How see you, the girl again. It was again. a fake number, number before. So well How is that now a real number? Casanova, of course it was. That's correct. Voice. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably <laughs> stop. This is amazing. This is the best game This ever. is good because you've given her a nice compliment. It's direct. It's made her smile. And it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice, confident way to start in the street. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the no, mindset to flop that she was cock, in, thinking was about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. Not the best option. And psychologically, it's important to remember that asking for advice on dumb stuff as if you don't know what you're doing is not such a good thing. Shows vulnerability, mate. All right. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit yeah, different that. to what most guys do. And it's a positive I ended difference. well. I ended strong. 
When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something, and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't climbing. you see you if understand you understand climbing? Go out and we go up sell things. someone on it. Make it so that there's just in case like, you didn't yeah, know. I'd like to do that. That sounds great. So it's it's the right option in this case. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not I'm important. a YouTuber. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If, it's, if you do like your job, even if you think other people are not interested, speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in, yeah, this feel is what where we just emotion, cruise, even if they don't friends. understand it We that took well. what we so, learned, you know, we don't adapted, worry about it we survived, worry about how you tell we pulled. others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. And magically it's not a fake number. So this is the right choice good. because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling these the are just the, the exact same videos from and show that you're confident the enough bit before, to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Thanks, mate. You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and see the goal again. You got the number, so well done. But surely, if it, okay, if it's the real number, as, as he is now telling us, then surely that is the result. Unless I was hoping to what? Get me to suck her off, get her, get her to suck me off in the street. So I, I think that's a 100% success. What else was I hoping to get from that? This is amazing. Funk it. Funk it. Let me just turn this down a minute because you can't alter separately. Oh, there's so much to go through. Look, girls in bars. The volume didn't change, did it? There we go. Yeah, there we did. We've turned the volume. Right. Club dance floor. I can move. Um, I'm not worried about it. Girl sitting in coffee shop. Friend to girlfriend. Friend? Oh, make it I thought you meant friend of your girlfriend. I'm like, it's probably a no-go area. First date Alexa. Is that the voice AI? Um, direct day game. Wingman. Office and first date Kate. Right, my... Pull oh, this fucking... The music's doing me nutted. There we go, my friends. First episode done. We will, of course, be continuing this because this is fucking epic. This could possibly be my favourite game of all time. The guy is an acting... God, Leonardo DiCaprio has nothing on him, and it's genius. And we're going to learn a lot. We're going to learn how to pull women. You know, you, you saw my improvement. If anything, I'm indictment to the, how good this game is because we started off slow. You know, rubbing our cock in the <laughs> rubbing our cock in the street in front of her. You know, we started off slow, but as we learned, as we evolved, we we were smashing it towards the end. So. Picking up girls in a bar is going to be no problem at all. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, please do hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Go and check out my other content. I'm going to be doing more and more of these random games because they're just so much fun. So if you've got any random stuff you want me to check out, put in the comments below. Tell me if you're looking forward to the next one. If you've got it yourself or played along yourself, let me know what you would have done in the comments as well. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so happy I found this. Right, thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bonk it.